Hello everyone, I am Joshua Lowry and today we're going to take a look at my comic book collection One graphic novel and uh, the uh, other stuff, but I don't know what you call them So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the collection Here we have Itty Bitty Hellboy no, I, know, I know some of you are thinking that this, this, this looks like a very bad comic, but um you know, it's, 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 not, it's not bad. I mean, you have to pick it up for yourself, of course. It's, a hollow, it, it's for Halloween. My brother got me this. Um, it was Free Comics Day, and, uh, you know, he, he, he got it from me. So, that, that was nice. So, it's uh, an interesting one. So, if you if you get money or something, you, you, you buy it. It's, I, it's Free Comics Day, so, unless you can buy it next Free Comics Day. But, um, you know. Um, and, uh, oh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Um, you see, um, my brother also on comics day got me this, my, my little pony, um, yeah, uh, I did, uh, okay, the, uh, I can see why people like it, it they, the stories are pretty epic, well this one is pretty epic, I, I still don't understand fully what's going on, because I didn't really read it all that much, but, um, you know, one day I'll actually have a read about it, and I actually know what's going on, so, um, you know, it's, yeah, that's interesting, <clears throat> and here we have Detective Comics number 27, special edition, uh, it, it was like, um, it was the 25th anniversary of, ba was it 25th? Is it the 25th anniversary of Batman? Is it? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Um, if not, they can correct me in the comic section below. Um, so anyway, this is a very good comic, even though I don't see why. Well, it, basically this is the cheapest way to get the first issue, uh, first appearance of, um, the Batman. Mixed in with New 52, um, uh, continuity, and there's basically three stories in this. Uh, the original, um, first story of Batman, the New 52 version of it, and, um, some other story with two Bruce Waynes. Um, you, have, you have to get the comic to understand, so, um, uh, yeah, Detective Comics. And here we have, uh, by the way, he got me that, um, yesterday, I think. Yeah, he got me that yesterday, I think. Uh... Yeah, um, anyway, here, here we have Doctor Who, issue number one, Advent, The New Adventures with David Tennant, um, so yeah, Duncan got me this, um, a very, very good cover, it, it, the comic books really have a good likeness to, um, David Tennant, I can't wait to collect the rest of the series as they come, so, uh, yeah, good issue. Not only that, but I also got, um, well, I didn't get it, my brother got it, uh, the 11th Doctor Adventures, because these two adventure things are going on at the same time, and if you can look really carefully, they kind of look very similar art styles. Did the same artist do this? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, they're different artists, I guess. Maybe the same artist did, and I just didn't see it. You can tell me if they from right. By the way, it's, it's very confusing, because um, cause they relatively have pretty much the same cover, except from the picture, uh, the picture of the main character. But they're both issue one, so if you're a fan of 10 or 11, then um, yeah, pick it up. They're very good comics. Uh, we, here we have, back from Free Comics Day, uh, Batman Little Gotham Special Edition, issue number one, I, I, apparently this is a series. Now the artwork is pretty um, cool, if, just to give you a quick st uh, idea of what the story's about. Basically, Damian Wayne doesn't no idea what ha Halloween is, so Batman takes it upon himself to teach him what Halloween's about and stuff. And it's a fun read, it's actually like an ordinary Batman comic, so... Don't let the art design fool you, because it, it's kind of unique. I kind of like it. So yeah, um, if you see it, pick it up. It's a it's a good comic. Uh, here we have Ultimate Spider-Man issue number one. Uh, it, a, an interesting comic, definitely. It mixes in with um, uh, Marvel mashups. Basically, um, Marvel mashups is basically like a like a parody thing from original Spider-Man stories or something like that. Um, and also um, one of the main stories. It's basically two stories. So, uh, the stories are pretty interesting, I mean, they're pretty weird, but, um, if you prefer this over the, over, over the cartoon series, then there you go. And here we have, uh, Joker issue number one. Now, no, here's my question to you guys. Um, is this actually a, is this actually a series? Because I don't know, actually. If, if it is a series, then I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to picking up the rest, so... Yeah, this, this story is pretty good. It kind of shows Joker's childhood, and that his mother was, mm, you know... So, uh, yeah, if you like uh, the Joker for the New 52, uh, this is before his face comes off, of course. So, yeah, so pick, pick, this, pick this comic up. You, you won't look good. Uh, that's the same comic. I don't know why Duncan gave me two of these. I don't know. Uh, here we have um, 
the Uncanny X-Men vs X-23. This came with a X-23 action figure I got when I was out shopping. Uh, not for resale. Um, so yeah, this isn't actually the legit one, because I just got it from the action figure. Um, so yeah, um, it's a good comic. It's definitely a good comic. Um, so if you find X-23 and you like this comic, then yeah, go pick up the action figure. And here, here, I got the variant one as well, but this is not actually a comic. This is basically like, um, I don't know, a cover of it. And here we have uh, Star Wars Legacy, issue number six. This I also got for my, for an action figure. I picked up well, one of those guys. Um, not her, because I don't know wh where she is, but the story is pretty good. Um, I wish I could actually collect more of it, so I actually know what the story's about. I mean, I know what it's about, I just wish I'd, I had it. So, um, uh, yeah, I actually get this legitly sometimes, so I'm um, a very interesting story. Uh, here we have Star Wars The Clone Wars issue number one. That, there we go. Now, I don't think uh, most of you actually know what this is. I mean, if you do, then good for you. Basically, it is just a magazine, but it has a comic book. And it's mixed in with the Force Unleashed uh, comic as well. Well, novel, anyway. Graphic novel. Um, the comic's pretty good. I mean, I mean, it could be another story. It could be from, like, uh, another version of it, but um, this is the version that I got. This is basically what you'll find, like, in uh, a gas station. Not a gas station, some grocery shopping or something. So if you see this, then um, pick it up if you can. Uh, here's uh, Star Wars Clone, the Clone Wars issue number five. I'm missing two and three. I don't know if I can get them again. If you can, please let me know. Because um, the story did did catch my attention, definitely. So yeah, good cover on that. It has, it also um, it also has some uh, comic strips. Of like from the show and from the from the movie. It's the first issue did, and then this one is just following like um the the, the, the uh, show and that. And also there's some ch uh, challenges and stuff in all of these. Uh, this is issue number nine. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, issue number. Gee, I don't actually know. Maybe it's the thirteen or something. I don't know. Batman Brave and the Bold. Uh, there's a comic book on that as well. Attack of the Bat Monster. Um, yeah. Uh, what issue was that? I, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, there's a comic series on uh, Brave and the Bold. For oh, yeah, Raids of the Dark Knights. Uh, so yeah, this is basically based on the sh episode where Batman is injured and there's like multiple Batman, like Green Arrow, Aquaman, Shazam. Oh, then we have some Transformer comics. Um, uh, yeah, Michael Bay versions. Oh. The comic, these ones are a bit better. I mean, uh, I don't know. I haven't really read them that much, but um, you know, if you see them, then like give, give them a go. I don't know what issue is that. I'm, I'm, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, these are, and here's a, a, a Doctor Who Adventures. This is basically just like an ordinary magazine. Like this is when uh, David Tennant was leaving and Matt Smith was coming in, but it does, it does have uh, one story in this. Uh, of the 10th Doctor, but it's a short one, so it's kind of a comic, but kind of not. And then we have, oh my god, um, okay, we're gonna stop for a minute, and, um, because my battery's dying down a little bit, but I'll be back in a minute, okay? Okay, I'm back. A battery's gonna die sometime, but, um, you know, we'll do it. But anyway, here is the largest collection of comics of Spider-Man I have. This is basically how I got into comics anyway. Here we have Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 117. Um, I don't know. I don't have. It. I don't know if this is a series that actually continues on, or something. Because I got this in a, like a grocery shop and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's about. It's basically um, the, the vulture stealing something and black cat. I don't know. It's been a while since I read it. Then we have Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 135. Yeah, Juggernauts in this one on the X-Men. Uh, this is basically like part two to a previous story that I don't have, but um, I'm, I'm trying to. F Hopefully I'll find it eventually, but um, yeah, for now, I don't know. So it's just a cliffhanger. So you know, if if you guys know if you guys know where to find like, these comic books, then I'm um, good for you. Cause I don't think you would find them like um, in an ordinary comic shop or something. If you can, then bravo for you. Cause I I just found these in, gro in grocery shops when I was younger. Here we have a spectacular Spider-Man issue number 46. Uh, this is the only multi-part story that I I consider my favorite because. Basically, it's uh, a multi-parter of Spider-Man fighting um, uh, the Beetle, Hydro-Man, Scorpion, Tombstone, Electro, and Sandman. 
for two parts, and in the third part we get um, uh, another villain, which you'll see in a in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, this was a a good issue. Basically, it, it has to deal with saving Flash Thompson because he got kidnapped by um, by the bad guys. And in this issue, it has a team up with Wolverine, uh, Spider Woman, Luke Cage, Daredevil. Uh, She-Hulk, and I think that's it. I don't know. If you guys know anything else about this issue, then good for you. It'll, like um, the Star Wars comic, um, uh, this has like um, challenges and stuff in this, and, and mail and stuff, and drawings and that. So, yeah. And here we have um, issue. Wait, uh, ish, that was issue 47, and this is issue number 48. Um, basically, um, this one stars the Green Goblin two Green Goblins. One at the start is uh, Harry Osborn, and the next one is, well, I don't know, it could be, could be Norman Osborn, but I really don't know. But, um, yeah, so, it is a very good issue, and that's when it stops, because at least I know another clip up, but I didn't pick up the comic, uh, based on that. I mean, the other thing about these comics as well is because they came with toys as well, so they like to entertain the kids and stuff, so, your kids got this, they also got action, like, not action figures, they got little toy things like guns or something. Um, here we have uh, Spectacular Spider-Man issue 158. And this one stars Nightcrawler and Spider-Man fighting, um, I forget, is it, is it Gargoyle or something? I don't know. If you guys know who, the, uh, who this guy is, uh, please let me know in the comment, like, uh, comments. So, uh, yeah, uh, interesting issue. Uh, here we have Spectacular Spider-Man issue 164. Yeah, this is uh, the Spider Slayer issue. Um, an interesting issue indeed. Uh, uh, Spectacular, Sp Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 172. Oh yeah, with the Prowler. Awesome one. Um, the covers are pretty good as well, and the stories are pretty good. Uh, see what I mean? Here's, here's an example because the toy would basically be in here. Like, um, what, what, what was it? Hang on. Two kind of answer. But what was in here? Um, Battle Watch. There was a Battle Watch in here. Uh, so yeah. Sandman issue? I don't know. It was a Terran, you see? That was it, okay. And here we have Spectacular Spider Man issue number 183 with the, with the Hobgoblin and this, and this kid who wants to be like Spider Man psychic. And then this one, he's like a teacher, and, it's, and he gives him like a, a little prezzy. So if you see this, then you don't see what I mean. And here we have Spectacular Spider-Man issue uh, 199. Um, with Spider -Man, with a, a variety of Spider-Man's villains. Um, so yeah, yeah, I can pack Spider-Man stories, and this is one for you. We, here, here we have Spectacular Spider-Man issue 203. With Iron Man, been taken over by something. I don't know, I don't have the first part to this. Alright, there we have um, part two of the Hunters on, I guess, where the lizard is basically the, the bad guy and creeping the hunters in this as well, and you know, I really don't know. Uh, and then here we have Spectacular Spider-Man issue 224, with a scorpion and kingpin, I guess. It's been a while since I read some of this, and that's the toy that you would get with it, I guess. And here's the last Spider-Man story I have, it's called uh, the Spider-Man Magazine. I guess they stopped it, but, you know. Oh well, so yeah, that's that's my Spider-Man collection. Basically my biggest one, so uh, hang on, like, my battery's, my battery's down again. Okay, I'm gonna try and press on, and finish this up quickly, okay. Here we have Marvel Heroes, issue number one. This stars um, Incredible Hulk in one story, and the second story is all about Iron Man. But basically, like the other ones, it also has challenges and stuff in it, so... Very good, Kant, that was like, um cool and stuff. And here we have Marvel Heroes issue 40, no, 34 with Spider-Man and Thor um, in one story and the other one Captain America and Captain Britain. So yeah, very good one as well. And then we have Marvel Superheroes issue 39. So yeah, a very interesting one. It's been a while since I've read it. So, you know, if you find these ones, then I'm good for you as well. And then we, then we go into some of my Avengers comics. We have Avengers issue... Doesn't say. I don't think it says anyway. If you, if you guys see it, then good for you. But uh, yeah, a very interesting one. Um, Avengers, um, 
Avengers Assemble Earth Mightiest Heroes. Uh, it's mixed in with the movie one, kind of, and mixed in with Earth Mightiest Heroes as well. So, you know, it's kind of a mixed mash thing. And then here we have another one. With the main enemy is Khan, is it? Khan? Khan? Khan, I think. No. I don't know. If, if you guys can... He's the bad guy, okay? I, I pronounce it wrong sometimes. Then we have uh, the last Avengers comic that I have. Does it say what issue is this? Is? No, it doesn't. Then we move into my Batman, uh, or more Batman comics, like the Batman, the Dark Knight. Uh, there's many versions of the, the New 52 Batman. For instance, this is Rise of the Batman. Um, I think we got this in the grocery shop as well, I think. Anyway, this is the one where Joker gets his face off. You know. Now he's like faceless Joker. But now, yeah, after the death of the family, I, I, death in the family, yeah, the family, I don't know. He, he's, he's gone somewhere. And then we have, uh, I think this is issue two. Oh no, well, I'm like, anyway. He's like buffing this one. Anyway, there's multiple story. There's two stories in both of those, and it's very hard to catch up. Oh, see, two. See, I was like, all right. Interesting. And then we have old comics, like the Batman Chronicles, issue number one. Yeah, we have Huntress in this one and Commissioner Gordon. Batman, I don't think looks an appearance until the end of this. So if you have this comic, then um, you know if he appeared more. But um, I don't think he appeared that much. It was basically a Huntress story. I mean, it, it is it is Batman, but you know. And then we have another one, another old story thing. It's called the. Hope I'm reading this late. The X Plots of Spider-Man. Basically, it, it's a hundred pages of Spider-Man stories, like the uh, the Lizard Lives. Um, uh, Spider-Man Unmasked and another one. I don't know. Um, there's a free data of a poster and the origin of the Hobgoblin, which is funny because I don't think Hobgoblin even makes an appearance in this. This is issue number... This is issue number 20. I don't see what issue this is. But, oh well. Now, we'll move on to... Uh, that's not with the comics, but...